Sometimes I struggle with these types of questions. I also have a lot of history in like science and in just classes like biology and stuff. So I do have beliefs both rooted in evolution as well as from a creator. Part of me believes that we just cease to exist, but another part of me believes that heaven is a place I strive to be in. That's what I also live my day to day, hoping that I can be worthy of a place like heaven. How did you get on earth? How did mankind get on earth? That is a great question, to which I don't really have a full explanation. Um, I am Christian myself, so I do have kind of those beliefs of how we came onto earth as a species. However, I know everybody has their own explanation and I think whatever people believe to be how we got here, I'm okay with anything. But personally, I'm not super also secure in my own explanation either. Okay, but um, am I safe to say creator? You're created? Absolutely, yep. Okay, as opposed to coming about by an accident. I have both kind of lines of belief. Um, like you said, I'm in engineering. I also have a lot of history in like science and in just classes like biology and stuff. So I do have beliefs both rooted in evolution as well as from a creator. So perhaps God started the evolution process, got it going? Yeah, I would say that's fair to say. Okay, all right. And why do you think that you, what is the purpose of your life, Mika, on earth? Why are you here? That's a question. I mean, as a university student, I'm still trying to figure out. I'm not 100% sure, but by living my life, I can hopefully find exactly what I'm here to do. I'm, it's not like I'm 100% sure. Now, Mika immediately confesses herself as a Christian. Yet, when asked these big questions of life and death matters, the only thing she seems certain about is her uncertainty. But is uncertainty a consistent mark of a true Christian? Well, it's a little known fact that the word Christian is used three times in the New Testament, and it literally means a follower of Christ. A true Christian is a sinner who's spiritually heard and received for themselves the good news that God sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to live a perfect life they couldn't live, then die on the cross as payment in full for their sins, to be resurrected to life on the third day, all for their full forgiveness forever. And at salvation, God gives us his Holy Spirit, who gives us his supernatural certainty, knowledge, and desire to obey his word. Of certainty, the apostle Peter says in scripture, let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. And of knowledge, the apostle John says in scripture, I write these things to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, that you may know that you have eternal life. As Christians, God has graciously given us supernatural certainty by his Holy Spirit that Jesus is certainly both Lord and Savior and that his word is certainly true. And because God speaks explicit truth about these life and death matters in his word, true Christians can truly know for certain and testify to the truth about the three big questions, like Anchor Dave will continue doing with Mika right now. Okay, all right. So, um, as we already mentioned, we're a Christ we're Christian group. Uh, we do believe that the Bible is the Word of God, meaning that God has um, spoken to us through this book, which was written by man, but it is... Um, it is fully God's words. Um, so point being is the Bible talks about um, after death comes judgment. So what do you think, Mika, would happen to you? God forbid, but if a lightning bolt were to strike us down, um, not likely on a day like today, but if we were to die right now for some reason, what would happen to you? Would you go to heaven or would you go to hell or would you go to uh, purgatory or would you just cease to exist or you don't know? or you turn into a multicolored butterfly. I mean, what do you think would happen to you? I mean, again, I'm still, sometimes I struggle with these types of questions. I mean, I, part of me believes that we just cease to exist, but another part of me believes that heaven is a place I strive to be in. That's what I also live my day to day, hoping that I can be worthy of a place like heaven. And so I feel like that belief must 
come in through my daily to day also kind of pushing me towards heaven in the end. Okay, so let's say, let's just hypothetical. We do die, we're standing, we're, we're standing before God right now, and, and God the Father says, Mika, why should I let you in here? What are you going to say to him? I mean, that's a good question. I believe it's his place to do as he chooses with and to let in the people he believes. And if God looks at me and possibly thinks that I did not fulfill um, a most graceful life of not exactly free of sin, of course, I'm not free of sin, but I, at the end of the day, it is his choice. And I would love to say I worked my life trying to be the best version of myself. And, but again, it's his decision. But you've heard about, um, for example, I mean, the God, be, like you've probably heard of the idea about God being perfect, right? And perfectly pure, no sin. Have you heard that before? I have heard of that before, yes. Okay. And so God being perfect, how can he let, well, two things. How can he let sit that sin into heaven, number one? But number two is he's also a judge. So if he's got to judge you by the law, by the Ten Commandments, I mean, would we be innocent or guilty? if perfection is what has to happen. And I mean, personally, I do believe I'm guilty by perfectly abiding by the 10 commandments. However, I do feel like I've attempted to show the ways in which I've realized that sin. And of course, God can judge me however he pleases. Um, but I've, I, I strive to seek forgiveness for that as well. Okay. Can I share with you just, I mean, that's the negative part, of course, is that we are all sinners. Bible says we're all sinners. And, and I'm no different. I'm not better than you, of course. But can I share with you like a, just a real brief, um, the, the good news of the gospel? Absolutely. Go for it. All right. So being sinners, we deserve God's wrath. And the Bible says that we are actually born disconnected from God and that um, the wrath of God abides on us because of our sin. And if not dealt with, God will judge us on that and we will end up going to hell because of our sin. But that's the bad news. The good news is, is that the Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever should believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God sent his perfect, his son, fully God, Jesus is fully God, and he lived the perfect life that you couldn't, that you're not able to, that I'm not able to, and then dies that death on the cross. I'm sure you've heard of the cross, but as a substitute, he took all their sins, past, present, and future. He's raised, this is called the resurrection, okay? So he, was, he died, he was buried, and then he rose again. And what he's changed for your sin is he's given you back to you the righteousness of Christ. Which means basically, and the Bible says is, is that the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Okay, so now, if you've been born again, is that God does not see Micah's sins. God sees the perfection that Jesus lived out. And so most religions don't tell you this, okay? They, that, that actually, that to go to heaven is a free gift. It's just whether, the question is, have you received the gift? Does that make sense, what I've said? Yeah, partially. I'm still taking in part of it, but yeah, okay. it's all gone in there. Yeah. All right. Fabulous. So um, have you ever, have you read the Bible? Um, I've read parts of the Bible, but I don't believe I've ever fully read the Bible. It, do you have like a New Testament? I do believe I do somewhere, but I'm not sure exactly where. Okay. I, I'm going to give you one today if you're interested in, uh, we just, I just give them out to people and I encourage people to read the book of John. And the reason is, is because the Bible says that, that faith comes by hearing the word of God. And so you can only get that faith by, from the Bible. The Bible is a very special book because it's God's words. And the fact of the matter is that you've been saved by grace through faith. And so you have to have that faith or you can't get saved. Do, do you have any questions for me, Micah? Um, no, I'm all good. Okay. All right. Well, listen, I thank you very much. You've been very graceful. It's been great to have you on the show and uh, great luck with your studies and with your engineering. Thank you so much. Okay. Saving faith comes by spiritually hearing the word of God. And through his gift of faith, God himself gives all true Christians his supernatural certainty that Jesus is both Lord and Savior and that his word is true. Well, groundbreaking guest anchor Dave definitely started a great conversation with Mika. 
and to continue the conversation, we always do our best to keep connected by giving our new friends a gift Bible, a booklet answering the three big questions from the Bible, a Go Teams Media contact card, and a partner church connection card. So they can connect with us or a faithful local church if they so choose. Well, thanks for watching Go Teams Media. To continue conversing and connecting on what matters most with us, go to goteamsmedia.com. And if you're a Christian who'd like to get equipped by example for evangelism, and maybe even explore the possibility of your church launching your own Go Teams Media ministry in partnership with The Cross Current, go to thecrosscurrent.com to contact us. I'm Corey McKenna, the Equipping Evangelist, and you've been on the go with Go Teams Media.